this is the way everything works. Now, these testers are given quotas, obviously. Like, mm -hmm. you have to test a certain amount of people. Yeah. Okay. So, China's worked, by the way, since Mao, Mao came up with quotas and he yeah. stole them, the idea from the Soviet Union. Of course, like and everything else. It still operates like that today. Yeah. I, I just really get tired of people thinking that China's reformed. Mm. It did experiment with capitalism, but still works on the quota sure. system. So, here you can see, I'm going to play this clip. This is the testing woman, and what she's doing is she's just testing herself over and over and packaging them so, and then scanning it, you see, over and over and over again in order to meet her quota. So, she obviously had to test, I don't know, like uh, people. Six, 600 people that day or whatever, and she didn't meet her sure. target. So, she's just filling up the rest um, with her own tests, you know? Yeah. Which is ridiculous. Yeah. And this, I mean, th this is why you cannot trust the numbers coming out of China. When they like, release a GDP number, yeah. when they release the amount of people that were infected by COVID, you can't believe any of it. Oh, this is going to official data. Yeah, everything is just kind of made up on site yeah. and just changed to meet whatever requirements are there. Yeah. And that's why you found when China was reporting such a low amount of infections in the beginning, which of course is impossible, especially mm. given the, the population density in China, sure. the fact that it broke out there in the first place in Wuhan and stuff. What they were doing was, in order to reach the right numbers, so the government's like, hey, you cannot have any infections, or you may only have a few. Yeah. You have to have less infections than the USA. Mm. And they're like, okay, how much does the USA have? Okay, they've got like 10,000. Let's make ours about 30. And then what they do is everybody who's infected, instead of writing down COVID as the reason why they're sick, they'll be like, oh, uh, acute pneumonia or, yeah. you know, like a bad flu or whatever, just to change the numbers. And this is that kind of thing in action. Yeah. You can see it in action right here. I mean, if one got caught on camera, how many times do you think this is actually happening? Yeah. Because you see, wow. each one of those bottles, by the way, has got a, a, a unique barcode on it for whoever's supposed to have been tested. And yeah. I guess they just didn't turn up or whatever the case. So she's like, well, I'm supposed I mean, to be responsible. Quota, yeah. I have to do this. So she's just testing herself and scanning for each That's one. the thing is, like, as much as you can get down on her for that kind of really bullshit attitude of doing this, it's because she's going to get in massive trouble if she doesn't hit that quota. Yeah. It'll be on her head. And that's, a, that's actually a great piece of um, kind of like evidence of how top down leadership doesn't work, like you said. Yeah. Because when nobody wants to be held accountable and the next person said it's on the chopping block, no one will actually stand up and say, oh, well, actually, I didn't finish today. Or, yeah. oh, I didn't.